decision making. It is very important. You don't have a full programming language without decision making. So um, we haven't done this so far because uh, we used uh, decision making that was implicit in um, in in filter, for example. When we had to make a decision whether we keep um, an element or not, we just provided the condition. Um, the um, the predicate function and filtered it, the decision for each item in the collection for us. But if you want to do it um, separately, well, here is. The okay, I'm implementing the absolute value function. Okay, and this this is very simple, so I can just write it directly we'll get a number a and here comes the condition so if a is greater than sorry or equal to zero then i will return a otherwise i will return negative a okay so let's try this one what's the absolute value of 2 that's 2 that's for sure yeah and what is the absolute value of negative 1 that's 1 okay so this works fine so if you see um, the if statement has three parts and this one is the condition so if this evaluates to true then um, we basically return a consequent okay, as it's called so we return a otherwise we return the alternative. Okay, so the way if works evaluates this first, and um, if it's true, then it evaluates this part and returns it, and if it's false, then it evaluates that part, the alternative. Okay. So as you can see, this is not an ordinary function call. The function would evaluate all the arguments first, then call the function, but this is a special form. So as the evaluation is not the same. So, well, you know, this might be, the, like the alternative might be some heavy computation. And even if it's not so heavy. So if we need to return A, do we have to calculate minus a? No, because it's it's not used. So the evaluation of these two expressions are conditional, while well, based on the condition. Okay, so this is how the if uh, works in closure.